One of the mountains, spending hours and nights. One of them is the Hermitage of St. Cherubal. And then I end up like with the most crucial decision of my life, quitting Hezbollah after 13, about 13 years of continuous jihad. Not only that, I had a new form of ideas and convictions superseding the old ones, superseding the ritualistic, the manipulative old ones, but not the good makeup that I struggled to retain, okay? Which brought me to this point, after I quit Hezbollah, I had attempts to unite Lebanese, I had a civic movement, and then in 1998, I had my uh, outpost uh, open up to Christianity. Because you know, like in Lebanon, it's basically the Muslims and the Christians, and that's, they make the identity of the country. And I wanted to, I, I was like confined away from exposure to Christianity. And I wanted to know. It's not a matter of strict religious uh, 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 motive or something like that. No, it's, it's, I, wa I want to find out this other half of the country. I want to learn more. I want to see what I used to go against. You know, I want to see if I was right. I want to see where I was wrong. And I ended up like going to the mountains, spending nights there at St. Cherubal. And I ended up like uh, in a burning itch to embrace Christianity. It didn't happen as a matter of a decision, just like that. I had a long trip that I mentioned in my book where I carried the Lebanese flag. I remember back then the Israelis withdrew from the country in 2000. And despite all the sacrifices and the involvement in the cause, I, and I was born in Marjayoun, at the very borders of uh, Lebanon uh, to the Israeli side and I, I, I missed that land and I wanted to go there but I didn't because I saw okay again I'm not talking politics but I'm just like summarizing some good milestones in my life I saw like a new form of invasion of the area and drawing the political lines for a new era of segregation and divisions and all that and and I didn't like it. I didn't go there. I waited for a month, and then I was so angry, I decided to draw the Lebanese flag, put it on a stick, and I started a trip from St. Cherubal. I toured walking, almost continuous uh, walking for eight days, uh, most of the Lebanese areas until I got with my flag walking to the to the old security zone border, and then I went all the way to Marjayoun, to where I was born, with this flag. That's how I wanted to go there. I didn't want to see any other flag of a faction, of a party, of a sect, anything. Just the Lebanese flag. Now, the thing is, uh, during that trip, to go back to my point, during that trip, basically, the last three days, before I headed for the last couple of days to the south, I ended up at the Cedars Jej, uh, uh, Jej Cedars, uh, Cedar uh, Forest. It's, Jej is a village in uh, northern Lebanon, kind of like uh, above Jbeil. And there was an old chapel there. It was, you had to walk for like one and a half hours off road to get there. And it was just a small chapel, you know, one room, barely having a door a window in the middle of a small cedar forest. And I just ended up there alone, you know, on the top of the mountains, lighting a fire, staying by myself. Wind was blowing really uh, strong, and I just didn't want to move on. I stayed for three days and three nights. And when I slept there, I felt so much in peace within. And that's when, when I finished my trip, I went back to some friends, some priests, 
And I just said, this has happened to me, okay? And I felt so much in peace, so much embraced. And I just, well, nobody has monopoly over religion, and I want to get baptized. It's not about converting or something like that. It's embracing the Christ and the beauty of Christianity with, in a very simple way. And then the priest was like, had a couple priest friends. It's like, well, there's a lot of ways to baptism. One of them is the holy water. Another one is love. And you got baptized by this passion for Christ. And there's no need to do the rituals. Well, I was partially satisfied. And then I end up like, I insisted, you know, and then I end up like going through the rituals, okay, of the holy baptism. And then I, again, to me it was a spiritual thing, a human thing. I'm, I don't take it strictly. Islam, Christianity, Judaism, no, 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 it's not. And I got more uh, exposed to Christianity. I went to churches. I. Uh, took part in the masses and the Holy Communion.